Well, yeah, I'm doing some work on this little trailer here. I want to show you guys. Finally got most everything put away in here. I've got a lot of stuff I got to fit in here. Ooh, the trailer. Anyway, uh, so what I did here, because I want to make this so that I can haul dirt and whatever else I want to haul on this little thing. Uh, all right, so all I did was, here we go, here we are. I took, these are just a fence slat. I took two by fours and I put them all the way down each side and across the front. And then uh, I tacked uh, the fence with just a single nail at the bottom, several places all the way down. And then I took the two by fours across the front and I nailed those all the way in. But I nailed those from on the bottom of the two by fours and then I set them down and I nailed the two by fours down that way. So then that way, this is actually the stronger of all of it. And then I want it so that if I want to uh, haul a load of sand or something on this, it won't go through the floor. So I've got these, uh, what are they, half by ones or, yeah, or one by, yeah, half by ones, whatever they are. I've got these and I've got these rubber mats that I get from my loads. And uh, I'm gonna take this and with some brad nails, I'm gonna put those like that and then I'm gonna run these out here on the edge right there to hold that part down another one there and I'll put one across the front and then right down the center I'm gonna put one on top right down the center the reason for that is so if I'm going down the road there's holes in the floor cracks where air can get underneath and push up and I don't want that to bubble up and me end up ripping all that off so I'm gonna tack these down right here uh, right now that's what I'm gonna do there that way I'll have a little dirt hauler slash sand trailer. Uh, I'll probably I'll have to make some type of a little little fence guard in the back just to hold everything back there. But for the most part, I don't think it's really gonna run off in the back. Uh, yeah. So I'm out here working. Finally, I've got my tools in in line to be able to do something with them. And my truck. Haven't done nothing new to the truck. I know the only new thing going on right now is there's a, uh, a leak on the steering box where my fluid is pouring out. Um, you guys, I told you guys that I had made a, uh, a snorkel uh, out of uh, vacuum. This is, this is from a vacuum extension cord right there. And uh, ex the extension for the hose. And then I've got the accordion hose. I don't know if you guys can see it under there. Eh, right there, see? I have the accordion hose run up and around the front of the motor. And then it goes in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It just kind of goes in there. I made a, a piece that connects. There's a, a pop-up part that it normally had right here. And uh, it, that's where, it would, where, where the intake was. So all the water that was when I was going a little deep was going right into my intake. So now I've got the end of the hose onto the end of that hose. I just cut it off. And then the vacuum hose was able to just push right onto it real nice and tight. And you can kind of, right there, you can see the, the vacuum line going by. And then it goes up right there into the underside of this. And then I just took my Dremel and I cut a hole out and brought it up. This is the piece that goes from the bottom of where your hose goes in, it goes under and into your vacuum. So I use that as the up and over so that I, uh, I, can, uh, I don't get any water in the top. And it works real nice. I haven't really tried to go deep, but I mean, that's, I put this on here so I don't get any more into my air box underneath here. I still don't plan on going into water over about right here because that's that's not what I want to do with this that's just so I don't mess up my motor any more than I probably have uh, no, I still have that wagon I built a long time ago so anyway let me get back to this talking enough I still have most all of my license plates actually all of them I have a pile of them up in there I need to bolt them up to the roof right in here uh, 
I do have an addition that I put in here, and that's I have a couch right here. Let me uh, turn this down before I get busted for copyright laws. But I bought there's a there's a green couch. It's kind of a greenish couch underneath this. So all right, hang on. I'm getting a phone call. All right, been a couple weeks since I did it, but here's the final product of my little trailer, all done up. I didn't do the the back, but I don't really see it. I need in doing it right now. It's just tied up back here. Yeah, got everything set up. Well, Gina got. I guess she got jealous because uh, look what she got. Went out and got her own. <laughs> Another 16 by 10 or 10 by 16, whichever way you want to say it. This one's out here. No, it's not. It's not close to those power lines. In case some of you are looking at that. It's actually probably over 10 foot from the power lines. Uh, this unit is 10 by 16. It's all metal. It's going to run 127 a month. What we're going to do is we're going to set it up like mine. I've got this extension cord I'm gonna to attach to the house, bring it all the way down, over, and I'm actually gonna bury it going across right there so we don't have to look at it. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom here. Uh, I'm gonna bring the cord, the extension cord, straight up through the floor over here. That way it's out of the way, it'll come up. And uh, I've got some power line, I'm gonna go ahead and install actual uh, lights a light here, a light here. I'm gonna put a light switch over the door and uh, I'm gonna put a, uh, uh, an outlet right here on the wall right there. And all that will be powered from this line going up and over. So, and oh yeah, and the light up here. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so see, you guys can see here that the plug or the extension cord is going to come through the floor right there. I'll end up throwing some caulking around that, and then uh, I'll end up coiling all this extra wire up. The, uh, the end of this plug will end up going into this plug, which this plug will be at the end of the main power wire for what little we're going to do in this shop. So please, if you guys are an electrician, don't be hounding me about what I'm doing. Uh, come up through here. I'm going to run this over to here. And then on this side of the door, I'm gonna run a, a double plug and then I'll come back up and over to the light switch. The light switch will be right here at the front of the door. And then we'll run it to there for that one. And then we'll end up running it straight across this way, up through there, across over here to where Robbie is. And then that'll end up going up to this light up here. And then also it'll run over to here where we'll have the other light. So let me get this wiring all finished up. All right, so here it is. I took this little plug apart here, baby. Can you hold the, the wire? There we go. Okay. So you get this plug and it comes apart like this and it slides off and then you've got three screws right there. One is going to be the silver, the silver one over here is going to be your positive and then your copper ones are gonna be the ground. This one is going to be the the regular ground the exposed ground so you've got you've got a black you've got a white if this will focus you've got a, a black you've got a white and then you've got a common ground i think that's what it's called but the black is going to be your hot the white is going to be your negative and then your this one's just going to be the regular ground which is going to go to to the third plug and that's the way that's going to work so i'm going to go ahead and put this together here, I'm going to put this through that first, and then I will connect all those in. All right, Robbie's finishing that up up there. He's got that last light on there. He's never done electrical work, so we're going to see if this whole place blows up. Uh, I got this light here. I got the wires ran right from back here going out. It's a, it's a, I had to go into this one and back out to, to the light up there that he's doing. So that's why there's two wires. That way it's a continuous uh, line. It goes through the wall right here, comes down and back over to this light here and then over to the switch. Still have not wired in 
uh, an outside light just yet, but that's good, man. It doesn't have to be like super duper tight. Let's get that light bulb in it. And then uh, we got the plugs right here, which that runs over to the actual power. And we finish that plug up right there. And that just plugs into your extension cord, just kind of hangs there for now. Uh, I'm gonna nail those in so that it stays nice and then put a little hooker hook to hang up all that excess wire. And then uh, Kathleen's over here doing a good job on getting everything swept up off the floor. Uh, we got a temporary light right there. Well, let's see if, uh, if Robbie did a good job. See, right when you come in the door, there's a switch right here so we can flip them and all the lights come on. Looks like Robbie did a good job. Hell yeah. So see, now we got lights inside this little shop and we can, ooh, 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 ooh. no, I'm just playing. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. That's all we're doing this week. Uh, finished up a bunch of stuff. I got to straighten up the other shop and uh, there's some other stuff that I got to do in there. And that's about it for now. Um, working on trying to get a project truck, something that I might be able to start working on. Uh, I got uh, I got to do the, uh, the the water pump and oil pump on the Camaro, so that'll be coming up. Uh, I've got my steering uh, my steering box on the Dodge has a leak. I need to uh, fix the leak on it. I've already got what I need for that, so that'll be coming up. Um, what else? Just a few other things. I've got a couple of things on the four wheeler that I'd like to do. Uh, I want to do a uh, 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 small uh, bass speaker install on the Dodge, so that'll be coming up as well. Include it'll have a thousand watt amp and I believe two tens in a sealed box. So I mean, it's not like competition worthy, but it'll give you a basic idea of what's needed for installing an amp and speakers. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, give us some thumbs up for some teamwork and hooking up the new little shop. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right? Y'all have a good day. Go get some light in your life.